happening today. 51 state champs are in D.C. to compete in the National Geographic B National Championships. The preliminary rounds start later this morning, ahead of the finals later this week. And our Eileen Whalen is live in Northwest Washington to tell us just what all is at stake. And we're talking about a lot of money here. Eileen? <sighs> A lot of scholarship money. So I've been watching, you know, the students come in. I've been careful not to really talk to them too much because I can imagine they're quite nervous. I just distinctly remember the geography be back in grade school, and it was it was something that always really made me quite nervous. And I never did quite this well. I never made it to the finals. But anyways, the preliminary round getting started. Uh, Dan Beaupre is with us, and you are with the National Geographic Society. So uh, Beaupre, actually, I'm sorry, I mispronounced sure, your name. Th this is, you know, again, why I'm not doing, you know, a spelling bee later either. So how long have you guys been doing the Geography Bee? The Geography Bee is now in its 27th year. We started um, uh, in 2000, excuse me, uh, earlier than that. Um, and and um, we're really excited um, to, this is our 27th year, we started in 1990. And um, at the time we realized that so many students didn't have a solid understanding of geography. And um, we created this competition, it's a national competition. We have winners here from all 50 states, one from the District of Columbia, one from each of the territories, and even the Department of Defense schools send a student here. So it's a big day for geography. We're really excited to have this competition. So, I mean, why exactly? So you, you started it because, you know, you want people to be more familiar with geography, um, you know, and a, and a lot's at stake. So tell us again what the prizes are for the winners. They're, they're pretty impressive. It's a very big deal. So the winner of the National Geographic B will take home a $50,000 college scholarship. The second place finisher takes home a $25,000 scholarship and the third at 10,000. Uh, high stakes, the kids come very prepared. They study for this year round. Uh, we have some repeats coming who have competed here before. It's, uh, it's serious business and they're prepared. Yeah, so what we're actually getting a sneak peek is the students have started to file in. These doors will close at 9 o'clock. That's when the competition begins. So just a few minutes away, but again, you can kind of see the candidates are already right uh, in the front and they will be asked how many questions throughout uh, the first preliminary round. So the students have 10 questions each. We have 10 rounds of questions. Um, and that, and they also submitted a video in advance. We call it a geo challenge, Ooh. where we ask them if they could have a superpower, what would it be and how would they use it to solve a problem in the world? So we have 54 two-minute videos they submitted that were judged, and they're part, they're part of the score today. They, they count as six points added to the 10 they can earn here orally, so it's very exciting. Wow, so definitely a lot going on. I am so excited. I think I am more nervous for these students. Um, I've seen a lot of the parents as well, so we'll actually try and talk with some of them. Dan, thank you so much Thanks, for Colleen. everything you. that you do for the National Geographic Society. Good luck, guys. Glad it's not me in there.